गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स आय एम डॉक्टर हर्षलता लड्डा फ्रॉम समर्थ हॉस्पिटल औरंगाबाद टुडे वी आर गोईंग टू टॉक अबाउट पी सी ओ एस इन अ सिम्प्लिफाईड लँग्वेज युजली वॉट यू लर्न ऑन गुगल ऑर सी ऑन गुगल इज इन अ सायंटिफिक टर्मिनॉलॉजी बट टुडे वी आर गोईंग टू टॉक अबाउट पी सी ओ एस इन सिम्पल लँग्वेज सो दॅट यू कॅन अंडरस्टँड वॉट इज युअर एक्झॅक्ट प्रॉब्लेम सो पी सी ओ एस मीन्स there is difficulty in formation of the egg of a woman that's why these patients don't get their menses regularly sometimes they are little bit irregular or they are extensively irregular means sometimes the periods are extended up to 2 to 3 months and some patients represent with total amenorrhea means no period for uh, months together so for the menses to occur they have to take some medicines so what happens in pcos exactly so in pcos the volume of the ovary is increased and the eggs in that ovaries are multiple so there is no proper space for development of the egg and because of that sometimes there is problem with development of egg and rupture of the egg if egg doesn't rupture then pregnancy cannot occur so they may present with infertility so what are the different symptoms of pcos so one is weight gain other one is like uh, they have excessive hair growth on their face in the uh, armpit then on abdomen and there is change in their hormonal structure like androgen level means male hormones are more in female pattern so then other things are like uh, they have pimples acne is on face so these are few symptoms of pcos with which the patient presents uh, what are the um, like uh, treatment modalities or what changes they have to make to improve their this body structure so they have to lose their weight around 10% of the existing weight reduction is useful in pcos cases then uh, they have to change their dietary habits they have to reduce their junk food eating habits they have to change their lifestyles they have to do exercise they have to join sometimes gym and all uh, then there are some medications with that their problem can be sorted out their problems with those medicines some patients around 50% patient responds their ovaries respond to those drugs and ovulation occurs so chances of pregnancy increases but with if with medicines they won't improve then they might have to go for iui then with repeated iui failures they might have to go for laparoscopy surgery with that we can reduce the volume of the ovary we can uh, reduce the toughening of the wall of the ovary and if these all modalities fail then they have to go for ivf Uh, regarding these all treatment modalities we are going to learn about this in next forthcoming videos so i will be explaining all these things in a simple language not in the scientific language okay scientific language you can find it on google or anything but in normal language means uh, day to day language i'm going to explain you 